Welcome to Fam Groups. I'm so excited to uh, bring the message tonight. Uh, it's we're going to read out of uh, Ephesians chapter four and verse one. So you can turn with me now in your Bibles. It says this. It says, "As a prisoner for the Lord, then I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you've received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love." making every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. There's one body, one spirit, just as we were called to one hope when, when we were called. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father over all, who is over all and through all and in all. Why don't you bow your heads, let's pray. So Lord, we thank you for tonight. Pray that your word would be clear. Lord, I pray that it would change our hearts. Pray that it would uh, bring life to people tonight. And we just thank you for all that you're doing in our fam groups. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, well, you know what? One of the most painful things that I do as a parent is uh, choosing a movie for family movie night. It is the most painful, I don't know. It like, it takes, I, I swear, it takes longer than an actual movie to pick the movie. Um, because no one can agree, because there's so many options, and uh, I can't please everyone, and it seems like, and nobody is willing to just go, okay, we'll do that. And uh, so unity is so, is one of those things that it's like, it's the most beautiful thing when it happens, but it's very difficult to get there. And, uh, <laughs> and maybe you're a parent, and maybe you go through this, uh, you know, so, uh, one thing I've done is I've just said, here it's family movie night and here's the movie we're watching and nobody gets to decide. <laughs> nobody gets a vote uh, because otherwise it just takes so long. So, um, but the opposite of unity is discord, strife, contention, division. And so, you know, when you think those words, I wanna ask you a question. What has been produced in this world through discord, strife, and contention? Has anything good been get, been produced through discord, strife, and contention? No, only things have been stopped through those things. Now, is there a time to stop certain things? Yes, there's a time to, you know, we are not in unity with certain things, sin. We're not in unity with that, obviously. But we are in unity with Jesus and his church. And so when we come together, especially in fan groups, it's so important that we come in with a spirit of unity. And so what is unity? Unity is oneness. Now that is, that is an amazing thing and it sounds so lovely, but it is so difficult to actually get to oneness. And apart from the Holy Spirit, we cannot achieve oneness together because all of us have our own will, our own opinion, our own how we think, how we'd like to do things. But it's so beautiful when we come under the power of the Holy Spirit, when we come into unity with the Spirit, God does something in our hearts and we can actually become one. And so uh, there's a couple things required in order for unity. Number one is to be selfless. Unity requires you to, to be selfless. Now, does that mean um, your opinion doesn't matter anymore? Does that mean you become a, a doormat? No, that's not what that means. What it means is that you, like this verse says, you be, you be completely humble and gentle and patient and bearing with one another in love. So it, what it means is you put others before yourself. And so when you're thinking, we're gonna do this for the church. We're, we got this vision. God, God's given our church this vision to, you know, build a building and to grow and to reach our city and our nation. And so, you know, what it means is that you and I, we leave our opinion. We just lay down our own opinions, and we 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 leave those things behind, and we decide that we're gonna be in one with the vision that God has given our church, and and it, it just requires a selflessness. And it requires us to think about others over ourselves. The second thing it requires is submission, submitted to one another. And you know, even Jesus had to submit. Jesus had to come to this place where he said, not my will, but your will be done. 
And that's that's what we, we do in church. The church is the most beautiful thing when everyone says, not my will, but God, your will be done. And we something incredible happens when we submit to one another. We submit to the godly authority placed in our lives. We submit to the leadership in our lives. And we submit to, for, like, number one, first and foremost, we submit to God. And as that happens, something beautiful happens in the church. And and through that unity, so many things can be achieved. So many, so many beautiful, amazing, incredible things can happen when people are in unity. But when people are in discord, everything is stopped. Nothing works properly. You know, it's kind of like when your engine, when there's something off in your engine and that and 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 nothing nothing works because one little belt broke and everything is thrown off and so today that's what you and I are we are part of this thing called the body and when we work in unity we produce something amazing that God can use so i'm going to leave you with this one thought um, god is one he himself is one and so this this scripture actually says it it says it says there's one body and one spirit oh it says keep uh, make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit. So we, we're we not doing something new. We're actually keeping something that already is. God the Father is, and the Son and the Holy Spirit are one together. And when we, when we come into the body of Christ, there's only one body, we come into the body and we come into the oneness that is already there. And so our job is to keep that oneness. And so whenever you feel like your opinion wants to come out or you're, you know, you want to give somebody a piece of your mind or you want to, you know, just, we just have to remember, we are keeping the unity of the spirit that already exists. And we're coming into this oneness so that God can do something amazing through us, so that we can reach the world around us, so that people can hear the gospel, and so that God can have his his way and his will through the body of Christ, us, his church. Awesome. Amen. Can I get an amen? Oh, you wanted to say amen. I love it. Well, thanks so much. That's what I have for you today, fam. So enjoy uh, your time together and your discussion. Love you all so much. Have a great night.